It's almost here. Can't you feel the chill creeping into your bones? The ice spreading through your veins. Images of creatures crawling slowly from their tombs in search of blood. And a lusty teen's doomed hand reaching out nervously to unlock the front door to see who or what has been relentlessly knocking as the clock strikes midnight on the day. The day that belongs to the deceased. The day us weirdos wait for with bated breath all year long. The day we affectionately call Halloween. <laughs> well, if you can't already tell, I am 100% one of those Halloween loving weirdos. See? And to pay homage to this, the greatest of all holidays, I'm going to be bringing to life a custom cruiser fishtail skateboard using rattle cans, acrylic paints, some special effects mix-ins, and sealing its fate within an ooey, gooey, glossy epoxy resin varnish coat. So hold on to your souls and let's make a super spooky skateboard today on Cat Leap and Zart. We're going to be using a maple skate deck blank, and you can find this one on Amazon as part of a three pack of different deck shapes. And all three of these skate decks arrive with varnish, and we're going to need to remove that in order for our primer and paint to adhere. Forever and, and ever, ever and ever. So I dragged my rotting carcass out to the local hardware store. Wow, there must be a sale. And picked up some sandpaper in a couple of different grades. 220 grit and 400 grit. We're gonna start by using 220 grit to remove the varnish and then switch to 400 before priming. And when you do this, there is gonna be a little bit of varnish laden sawdust. So feel free to wear safety gloves, glasses, and a mask. All right, ready, set, let's sand. We're gonna apply painter's tape to the back side of the deck so that later the epoxy doesn't drip through and dimple where the holes are located. And I'm also using the tape to cover the edges of the board so that we'll have a little bit of natural unpainted wood visible when the deck is complete. Once dry, if your primer has any deep brush marks or other imperfections, feel free to lightly sand the prime surface. And remember to use a tack cloth to remove any dust before applying your next layer of paint. Otherwise, it might not adhere evenly. Now let's move forward with spray painting our gradient background. Well, I think those neon colors look killer on this board and they are legit burning my retinas. I mean, woo, those are bright colors. And as hot as this deck looks, we need to come up with some wicked cool artwork to complement it. So let's start sketching. As our first step, we're gonna begin by using Procreate to work out the design and make color selections before we get to painting. Now, because this cruiser deck has a unique shape and size, I took a photo and imported it into my artboard to create a template so that I'm confident that my artwork is going to fit the dimensions of this skateboard. And as a side note, when setting up the resolution for your artwork file, I recommend creating high-res artwork, at least 300 DPI, so that you're able to make reproductions like prints, stickers, t-shirts, 
I mean, the variety of things that you can produce is nearly endless, and they can all be printed later on using the exact same file that you're creating right now. Now that that part is complete, let me show you how to transfer our digital file onto our physical skate deck. Now if you've watched my other videos, you know that I like using a projector to speed up this particular part of the process. It's a really easy and effective way to scale up your small sketches. And like I always say, you've already created the artwork once. Why freehand it again? It is not cheating. It is smart. Oh no, I'm okay, I'm okay. Now let's carefully brush on some matte medium to only the areas that we're gonna be applying our acrylic paint to. Since I found out that acrylics and spray paint can kind of act like oil and water with one another, this is gonna give your paint something to grip on and stick to. And this is gonna take a hot minute, so it's a great time to introduce this video's sponsor. A lot of times I need something to keep my creative juices flowing while I'm working long hours and wicked late nights on my art projects. As we all know, if you miss your deadline, it's off with your head. Okay, that may be a little over the top, but if you can relate, then it's high time that you taste sustainable, award-winning specialty coffees from small Mexican producers through the Killer Coffee Company. Killer Coffee is a woman and veteran-owned independent coffee brand for doers and makers, go-getters and risk-takers, driven by passion, love of nature, and the satisfaction of getting shit done. I've been drinking the four sample size coffees included in their killer coffee box from Oaxaca, Chiapas, Veracruz, and Guerrero. Not only is the artwork rad, but its flavor is funky and fruity and awakens my taste buds from the dead. And remember, the holidays are creeping up on us, and the killer coffee box is the perfect and easy gift for all the coffee lovers on your list. And for all of my viewers, when you visit KillerCoffeeBeans.com and enter coupon code SKULLPON, you'll receive a 15% discount on all of their products, including this sample box. Much love to Killer Coffee for sponsoring this video, and now that we're fully caffeinated, let's get back to making some rockin' art. Now we're gonna block in all of the areas of color using my digital sketch as a roadmap. I already defined my palette in Procreate, so I just have to pick the right paint colors to match. And since the background gradient that we spray painted is such a standout, I'm gonna let it really shine by using a super limited color palette for my foreground imagery. Literally, just black and white. I know, I know, not my usual MO, but I think it works here because this is a Halloween-y kind of video. All right, now let's murder this paint job.
were to ask me, I'd tell you that I think this deck is looking spooktacular. And we could just pour on our crystal ball clear epoxy resin at this point and call it done. But you guys know me, I have to torture myself. It hurts so good. And level this deck up another notch. I'm gonna be using some epoxy mix-ins for creating some special effects. Just walk this way to find out what I'm talking about. Before we get to mixing our epoxy, we have a little bit of prep work to do. We need to amass all of our supplies, silicone mats and stir sticks that make for easy cleanup, your spreader and scraper tools, mixing cups with measuring marks, powder pigments, and of course, safety gear. For me, it's always safety first. I highly recommend wearing gloves and using a respirator mask, especially if you're at all allergic to epoxy resin and its fumes. Today, we're using Maker Epoxy, a two-part epoxy resin from Total Boat. Part A is the resin part of the mix, and part B is the hardener. Now, one of the really great things about Maker Epoxy is that it's crystal clear, which lends itself perfectly to using mix-ins like powders, pigments, alcohol inks, etc., to create some really cool colors and special light-catching effects. Now, I'm gonna use some dark magic powder, do not inhale, to layer on some translucent shimmer to really make this board pop. this layer set up overnight before I come back and finish up with our final clear epoxy varnish pour. Our resin is now semi-cured and looking good. This means that it hasn't completely hardened, but it also won't bleed into the next layer that I'm going to be pouring on top of it. So let's measure out some more maker epoxy in our good old one-to-one -one ratio. Gently stir the two parts together and get ready for that final oh-so-satisfying epoxy pour. Now, depending on the temperature and humidity of your workspace, you're gonna wanna look at the labeling on your Maker Epoxy packaging to make sure that you're allotting enough time for everything to cure properly. It's been a few days now and the resin has completely cured. It doesn't feel tacky and I'm not leaving any fingerprints. So it's finally time to take a look at this scully skate deck. If this deck has wormed its way into your heart and soul, and you can't live without owning it, I'm leaving a link to my website, catleapinsart.com, where I'll have the one-of-a-kind original available for purchase. Make sure to sub, like, bell, and I'm sending out a special thanks to Killer Coffee for helping me make videos like this one possible. Wishing you the happiest of Halloweens, my friends and fiends, and as always, thanks for watching Cat Leapin's Art.